Krishna, we're sitting here under the shade of uh, our big Rathayatra cart, which will soon be in action here at the Woodstock Festival uh, 2019. Actually, it's been renamed uh, Pole and Rock. We'll have to call it that because that's the official name of the festival now. But in the minds of the kids, it's still, still Woodstock. It has the same um, mood as the original Woodstock in the late 60s. Uh, in America, in, in New York. It's a free event. Um, we've described many times the main organizer, Jörg Ofschek, he's a philanthropist. He raises a lot of money for um, crippled children in the, in the country. And a lot of the kids, a lot of the youth, they help him. And this is kind of a thank you to the youth. They just come and there's big bands play on the main stage from Poland and around Europe, even from America. Sometimes bands come. It's totally free, and uh, already thousands of, of kids are coming and setting up. This year they're coming in really, really, really early. I guess the difference is that this is a mega event. Of course, in the 60s, that was also a mega event, the Woodstock. I believe there was more than 400,000 uh, kids at that event. Uh, this time here at Poland Rock, they're expecting 2.2 uh, million. And by Krishna's arrangement, we're in the thick of it, you could say. Maybe a better definition is we're an oasis in the midst of this mega event. The kids just come and they set their tents up throughout this area. They've actually expanded the area so that more, more people can come. We always get the same spot. It's on the main thoroughway here coming down. And everybody passes by us. Uh, previously, we had a big tent. But for security reasons this year, they're not allowing us to have the big tent. May or may not be a problem. Uh, if it rains, it'll be a little bit of a problem, but the kids will still come. Uh, a lot of them come, I have to say, because we're here. They so much appreciate our lifestyle, and a lot of them are thinking about our lifestyle. They've bought books. They've been here. They've chanted Hare Krishna into the wee hours of the morning with us. Um, They've tasted the prasadam, and they've met so many wonderful devotees. We have devotees coming from all over Europe, especially Eastern Europe and Russia, Ukraine. We're, we're expecting about seven or 800 devotees to help us in this event. So um, the kids come because this is, it really is an oasis. It's impeccably clean, our, um, our village here. And uh, we just have a lot of nice activities. Originally, Yurik Oshek, the organizer, he invited us to come to the first Woodstock 25 years ago. He asked us to come because he said, he saw one of our events, it was a small event, but the quality was there. So he said, uh, there's something you, ha you guys have that's special. Could you be part of my, my uh, Woodstock festival at that time? I said, yeah, sure. So I think it's the Bhakti. Well, it must be the Bhakti. It's the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that He's giving out this creep, he's giving out this mercy of, of love of God, although it doesn't appear like that to them at first. It's just they see how happy the devotees are, they see how cool we are, how nicely dressed we are, um, our nice loving relationships with each other. 
They sit in the questions and answers booth for hours and hours and hours on end. Devotees like Chadaratma and Tikshurupa and uh, different devotees. They straightforward philosophy. They love that. They we take the Chariot Festival. We take the Ratha Yatra Festival. It's not a one-day event. It's a four-day event for us. Three days, uh, Poland Rock, but we get our day first. It's called the Hare Krishna Day. Hare Rama. The day before the grand opening of, uh, of the Poland Rock Festival, we start our village. And uh, so the kids come over and uh, they really enjoy being here and they see that it's, um, you know, we've got a lot of cultural entertainment. We even have bands play on our stage, we'll be frank. We, have, we invite the bands to play on our stage too, because it draws the kids. And then they look around and they say, what else is happening here? They go and they see the yoga tent, they see the gift shop, they see the, the um, exhibits, uh, there's the face painting, and then there's our, there's our mantra rock tent. For me, that's the heart of our, of our festival, actually. Of course, the bands here, it's, you know, we don't have the big tent, but I, they're going to come by the tens of thousands, literally, I'm not exaggerating. The tens of the thousands, they come to our village. And just here off to my right, off your left, we have our mantra mantra yoga tent kirtan tent and it's pulsating from three o'clock in the afternoon till three o'clock in the morning we've got Badahari, we've got bibi govinda maharaj we've got sri Pallad, we've got madhava uh, my humble self uh, different devotees uh, singing and devotees give their heart to that kirtan and our devotees participate by the hundreds and that that's the heartbeat of Krishna's village repeat. Some things may be bigger, but that's the heartbeat. And that's why we open this village to anyone and everyone. They can come and they can get some nam ruchi, they can get some taste. Many times when the event's over, I see kids walking out of the festival and they're singing Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare. And meanwhile, for a nominal fee, we, um, we offer prasadam in mass. Prabhupada did say, think big. So big means that we have uh, seven kitchens in different schools. We, um, we have about 200 devotees cooking around the clock full time. And we distribute, or you could say we sell, around 160,000 full plates of prasadam. There's a sabji, there's a papadam, there's a halava, there's, you know, it, it huh? Rice. Rice. It's a, it's a full meal and it's delicious and it's offered to Krishna. Everything that we cook is offered to our deities, um, Shishi Gandharva Kigiranhari, Bhuvanitai, 
Giriraj and, and Lakshmi and Shringa. So it's Prasad. So this is a Maha, Maha Mahotsava in the true sense of the word. Nowadays in Iskand it's very popular and absolutely necessary that we have our Kirtan Melas in our temples that purifies our heart to share uh, Krishna consciousness. <coughs> Bhakti Vinod Thakur said, <coughs> when will that desire to to uh, share Krishna consciousness manifest in my heart and with a humble uh, mood I'll go out to preach the divine command. Of course he had it but he's instructing us. <coughs> so that's why we're here. We're here to do Krishna consciousness on the biggest level that we can do at this point in history. We would like to do something even bigger and maybe that desire deep in our hearts will be fulfilled by Shri Prabhupada uh, one day in our, in our lives in the future years. But this is as big as we can do it right now. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Right in the center of, of, of Poland Rock, 2.2 million people, literally in the center, Krishna's village of peace. This is what we call our project. You can see it's just, it's, it's huge, it's big. Tens of thousands of kids. At any one time in the evening, it'll be 10,000 kids here. And they're doing what we do in Krishna consciousness. Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu Shmaranam, Padasevanam, Archanam, Bandam, Dasyam, Sakyam, Atmanivedanam. They don't go to a temple, this is our temple. This is where, when I think of where, people ask, where's your temple? Where do you live? This is our temple. We live with the people. We love these people. We really do. Because Prabhupada has taught us, Jivara Supoya Krishnara Nitya Das, that every living entity is a servant of Krishna. So we, we go beyond the bodily dress, the dress or the body. We go straight to the heart. We know there's a brother or sister there in that heart. Everyone's originally Krishna conscious, so we feel comfortable out here. Like you feel comfortable in the temple with the paintings and the deities and your godbrothers and gods. You know, Prabhupada, he liked this mood, uh, preaching boldly and having faith in the holy name. This is what he liked. And he did it himself. So we feel very comfortable out here. We feel at ease with the people. And because we feel at ease with the people and we love the people, we respect the people for being devotees of Krishna, we, um, yeah. We're here with Krishna's village of peace. They're doing a sound check now. <laughs> we have to bear with these things. There's a lot of noise, a lot of, you know, improper association out here. <laughs> but, hey, this is the best place to be because this is where the people are. And people of this world are looking for an alternative. Everybody's looking for it. Because material life is not satisfying. So here we are, Krishna's village of peace at Poland Rock, Woodstock 2019, uh, sharing with them in a very tasteful way, Krishna Consciousness. We invite them into our village. We're inviting people into our hearts, actually. Inviting people into our hearts and sharing with them the very best of Krishna Consciousness. Chanting, dancing, feasting, and philosophy. Yeah, we have our, we have our questions and answers, and we have our books, and a lot of kids go home with books. This is more important than any mega sports event, any political event, any spectacular event. This is Krishna's village of peace. The whole world should be watching, understanding who Sridhar Prabhupada is and what he brought to this Western world. 
by the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Poland Rock, Woodstock, Poland, 2019. Hare Krishna. Shri Prabhupada Ki Jai Ho.